All right. All right, not twice. No. Okay, okay, go ahead. Three, two, one. Whoa, for eyes already! <laughs> Spectrum Laser, and welcome to FSTV Live, the best laser show in the whole universe. That's right. You found us, universe. It's right here. It's Wednesday. It's 4 o'clock. We're at Full Spectrum Laser. You know what that means. We're talking lasers. And today's show, we're talking about how to get the most out of your laser, and specifically how to get the most out of your Full Spectrum Laser, as we provide a lot of unique things to help you get just the most out of your laser system. Yeah, um, so we're going to talk about how to uh, mute our phones uh, before gonna, live podcast turn start. it off because my mom's calling me. Um, so we're going to go Pinspiration, inspire you guys for new ideas on how to make things, and then go into ROI for your return on investment. And Absol then we're getting, getting started with your laser. Absolutely. So uh, without further ado, let's look at some of Walker's favorite uh, Pinspirations, uh, which show just some of his products he thinks are the best laser cut products being sold out there on the market. Inspirations. So this bad mamma jamma right here, look at this clock. Now you could do a lot with clocks, but this one. Yes. Wow. I, I, and you can find these and you can also find the files so you can, you know, convert it, change it, do whatever you want to it, make it special, different, whatever you want. If this is too much for you, because assembly, like some people want assemble things, right? Right. And some people want the kit. So it really depends on what your take on it is. And if this is too much, then you can just buy a little clock mechanism put a face on it with a hole and absolutely and they sell those at um, Joann's uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby all types of places usually only like five bucks you can also find them on Amazon uh, really inexpensive too um, it's really cool about those you can do I mean I think we have actually one be maybe it's in your office the uh, the Picasso oh yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. great yeah you can do a bunch of fun we have a bunch of free clock files actually on the website if you want to check this out let's check out this next inspiration first though Jewelry. Jewelry. Everyone's favorite one. This is a real popular one you'll see at Maker Fairs and a lot of Ren Festivals and Pirate Fests even. A lot of laser cut personalized jewelry like this. I love this stand. This is actually one that you'll see at Maker Fair uh, San Diego. Oh, sorry, San Mateo. I just love the idea of this is mass production and it doesn't take much, no. right? Like that piece of wood costs. Oh yeah, you figure that $6 piece of wood, how many pieces of jewelry does she get out of it? A you know lot. what I mean? And each one of those uh, earrings, I would say, retails for anywhere between $20 and $25, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Easily, yeah. And you can make them even more elaborate if you wanted to, and then just, you know, wipe her out of the market. Absolutely. I've uh, made for friends a bunch of customized acrylic jewelry of different colors because they wanted an exact color or they wanted like a piece of jewelry that matched a uh, outfit for a Halloween costume. That's one yeah. I did this year for a friend was I cut some uh, big hoop earrings that were uh, like an orange color for her. So she had the perfect costume for Halloween. She right. owned spray paint? Uh, no, it was kind of the shape. It kind of looked like those top left ones. They were just oh, really okay. big. It was for like a, uh, like a, uh, Austin Powers type oh, era type groovy, thing. Groovy, groovy yeah. Uh, so this next one's actually another <coughs> really good one, uh, real simple, but for more of a pro user, right? A little bit bigger? Yeah, so you can mass produce these, and I mean, you will need the larger scale, but <coughs> it's so simple to design these. Absolutely, and uh, many 3D um, slicing <coughs> tools, like uh, I think 123D uh, Create mm -hmm. um, from Autodesk. Uh, Autodesk has a whole suite of things that can help manipulate STL files and turn them into laserable uh, files like this. It's actually uh, really easy to use. Uh, this one's just a simple ball, but like you've made one that's the shape of a Kraken, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, absolutely. That file, again, available on the website. And if you don't think 3D is for you, mm -hmm. it's very easy because all those like circular panels are the same shape. Absolutely. That's the, probably the best part of assembling those that are uh, asymmetrical, right? Yeah, yeah. All two-dimensional with that single shape, and then you just have a circle that notches it in. You Absolutely. can design it without any 3D software. Yeah, you see a lot of people put neat designs on the edge, so where it has the general shape of a circle, but they all have interesting shapes, each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah like it's kind of cool, yeah. I also saw uh, light fixtures like this that were obviously laser cut at um, what is it, Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks, very cool. All right, so this next one is actually another definitely pro level user. This thing's incredible. Look at this. Yes, this is by U Gears, and it actually is rubber band powered. This is one of my favorite companies that laser cut stuff because the actual pistons move. As move, well. yeah. That, I mean, if you haven't checked out U Gears before, we've featured them a few times on the show. Go check out their website. They just, if you want some inspiration on how to do some amazing laser cut things, these guys just know how to do it. These kits you can buy online. Uh, I don't know if you can personalize them or not, but I believe they sell some of their files online, don't they? 
Um, some of the simpler ones. Yeah, it's more simple. Obviously, this one's uh, proprietary. That probably took a long time to go. But really, anytime you're doing something 3D like this, mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of like kind of breaking it down section by section. Like when we made that big pirate airship, we didn't know how it was all going to go together. First, we kind of had the general idea, then just started piecing together. If we made a second one, man, it'd go up quick, and a lot of things yeah. we do differently. Well, a lot. <laughs> all right, so let's check out this next one. Right, for fiber. Absolutely. So we've talked about this quite a bit lately. Mm -hmm. I love scroll work, and I love just the old school look on guns. Like Absolutely. It's really clean and classic. And Looks like it belongs in Grand Theft Auto or something, yes. like the one you unlock. Yeah. Uh, and then you played it in gold. Oh, brilliant, yeah. You know, rock it like that. Yeah, I'm not that cool, though. No, and the best part about uh, doing uh, engravings on things that people already own, like guns or golf clubs or jewelry, is that you don't have to buy materials. Like, you're li literally the service you're providing is the marking on something they already own or something they're just buying f to be marked. Yeah, I think we'll get into that later, yeah? Yeah, we will. Uh, let's check out this. Is it our last one? one oh, no, one. one last one. The saddest one <laughs> that Walker could find. He's like, how can I get everyone to cry today? I think it's a good <laughs> example. Look how clean that dog looks. It, it actually is a beautiful example. I can imagine memorializing Lola if anything should happen to her. But what a beautiful thing. Uh, great picture of the dog. They've obviously cut out uh, for the engraving. Uh, real simple uh, lettering there, but easy way to memorialize. Uh, you know, everyone's best friend, uh, whether it be in the backyard or on some hillside someplace mm -hmm. or on their favorite walking path. Uh, that'd be kind of weird, though, wouldn't it, if you're walking through the park it's and saw a few of these? Depression. Like pet cemetery thing? Yeah. Sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> not, not um, the best. But either way, this is a, a beautiful thing, a great application. This looks great. Yeah, and you can put any quote you wanted on there. A way better quote as well. Well, it she, she was Aaron's <laughs> partner. Um, Aaron could be another dog. We yeah, don't know yeah. that. We don't yeah. know that. Uh, anyway, these were uh, some of Walker's favorite pinspirations. If you've got some ideas uh, or laser goods you'd like us to feature, you can always enter the weekly contest by using the hashtag MadeWithFSL and show us your laser uh, products, and you can win a free lens kit and some uh, uh, credit towards your next FSL purchase. All right, so uh, next uh, spot, we actually wanted to uh, highlight uh, one of our sponsors we have. Um, and uh, I don't see on the, who's our first sponsor here? I, I don't even see it on my list. It's the weekly contest. Oh, speaking of which. Have we got a contest for you. The FSL Monthly Contest gives you the opportunity to win, win, win. Win the respect of your peers. Win fabulous prizes. Win the coveted Llama Award. Enter to win today. Rules and restrictions apply. That's right, so just all you have to do is use the hashtag made with FSL uh, and publicly post that picture or uh, just you can send it to us in a direct message on social media. You can uh, post it to our Facebook wall, uh, send email. us to an, e you can email, you can send it via Instagram. If you're not a social media user at all, absolutely you can just email us at marketing at fslaser.com and you'll be entered to win uh, that contest. Uh, check out the website for all rules and applications, but without further ado, let's get into our next segment. Let's talk about the ROI ebook. Absolutely. For those of you who don't know acronyms, ROI stands for Return on Investment. Look at this cool title that our new graphic designer, Zach Made, man, keeping up with the cool titles and covers for our ebooks, man. That's a good looking ebook cover, I'll tell you that. And inside the ebooks, a ton of great information. It doesn't just look good, it feels good as you're reading it too. So it's going to tell you how to get the most money out of your laser. Now, what we did is we kind of broke down some of the sections that we cover in there. Uh, you can get the entire ebook here um, tomorrow when we really, or actually it'll be released today, so sorry about that. But that'll go up today. You'll have the link down below. Um, but this whole ebook will cover how um, certain people are using products to get the return on investment. We're actually highlighted a few of those uh, scenarios uh, that we can take a look at. But I guess the first thing we want to um, highlight is um, is Anne, right? Anne's our first one? No. No. Nope. Nope. What's not? Oh, I'm sorry. Edward. Sorry, sorry. Edward. Sorry. Okay. Forget our, I forget our fictitious characters sometimes. All right, so uh, Edward, he runs a, he's a uh, wedding planner, and he got a laser to add a service to his wedding planning uh, business, and what he does is he adds, he's selling cake toppers. Now, he's selling those cake toppers for $35 a piece. He only has to spend about $5 on material for that, so he's making a $30 profit on those. If he sells 25 of those a month, which seems... Yeah, I mean, 25, yeah. 25 a month might be a little high. Let's say he sold... A little less than that, um, but 25 a month would equal to an annual profit of $10,500. And that 25 a month might seem like a lot for your local wedding artist, but what um, what he does, Edward, is he sells those online as well. So he has an Etsy shop and a Facebook shop where he's not only selling cake toppers to the local area, but he's mm -hmm. also selling cake toppers to all the people around. He also uses a great method of advertising at weddings where people leave with a little cake topper of their own 
uh, with his information on the back so he gets tons of business. Also, one tip that Etsy comes up on when you Google search. Absolutely. Like on top. So Absolutely. if you sell on Etsy, if somebody looks up even something close to what you're selling, it's going to pop up on the front page. At, well, not always, oh, depending on how many, but yeah, but it does help a lot having that pop up uh, when found SEO. Uh, let's jump over uh, to the next one. Looks like we're not, po there we are in the bottom corner. Okay, so this next one is um, Grace. She sells tumblers. Uh, these tumblers are easy because uh, they only cost about $5 per, and personalized tumblers are selling for $25 to $40 a piece. Selling 25 of those a month, she's making anywhere from $6,000 to $10,500 a year just selling tumblers. And really, $25 tumblers a month, or 25 tumblers a month, might actually be a low estimate in this case, where uh, really, um, sometimes people order 25 at a time for a wedding party, or a bachelorette party, or um, a graduation. Yes, um, any sort of special event. Absolutely, any special event. But a lot of times, they'll, um, a um, certain uh, coach or a parent uh, from the team will get a set of water bottles for the entire team with the team logo on it, everyone's name on it. That's uh, 10 to 20 a pop there as well. So uh, making uh, you know really $10,000 on tumblers a year. She, she's yeah, absolutely. Tons of money. I mean, she's making a ton of money just uh, and really once she has her designs up, she just sets the tumblers to go and it's just a matter of like swapping out tumblers. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. All right, so this next one we want to look at was actually one of our fiber users, and uh, what she does is she actually marks people's uh, guns for them. So she doesn't have any cost uh, per item because people are bringing their guns to her, and really charging $250 for a custom gun engraving, not hard to do. If you did 20 of the 25 of those a month, you're making 75k a year on only personalizing guns. Yeah, and there's only so many guns you can have default templates that you just drag in designs. Absolutely. So, so not a ton of designing to do. And then two, um, two hundred fifty dollars is a very low estimate. Like uh, we've Google searched just in the local area, but it sometimes comes up to a thousand dollars depending on like what you want to have done to your gun. And really, as an artist, the better you become as an artist, the more you can charge uh, in this case. But those are just three, I guess, quick samples of ROIs. Uh, if you got laser systems uh, from Full Spectrum Laser, the uh, best part is kind of what we're talking about next is um, after you get that laser, we really make it easy for you to get going uh, with the laser. But before we get to all that, we have a quick word from, it says esteemed sponsor, one of our best Ooh. sponsors. Let's, uh, let's see who this is. Brought to you by Honeycomb. Be happy. Honeycomb trays are included with your laser beam because we believe they belong. I can't believe we let him do that one. Yeah. yeah. Honeycombs. honeycombs, they're not just for bees anymore. Um, so anyway, honeycombs, yeah, if you ever need an extra Just trying to create some buzz, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I did like that one. Okay, the buzz got me. Yeah. Okay, I was, I was trying like, not to laugh. Was, I was, I was trying not to laugh. What was I supposed to say? I forgot. Um, so uh, honeycombs, uh, when do you use honeycombs the most? Um, Cutting yeah. paper and acrylic for me. Uh, I almost never use it, but if it's small pieces, I like to use it. Yeah, especially if you're doing a, a bunch of little things. Like the, I think the time we use the honeycomb the most is when we're making samples for Maker Faire Barrier, which yeah, will be at this size. Yeah, I don't and want a bunch to of fall. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely honeycomb. Okay, so on to our next section. We do have a, a bunch of things uh, Full Spectrum Laser does that many other laser companies don't do. They may uh, charge you for some files. They may have some paid courses. They may have some other things. But we have really a lot of assets that really get you on the ground and running right away as soon as you have your laser. Besides having industry-leading software, besides having like the only laser on the market that has an LCD touchscreen on it, be it pro or a hobby, the only hobby laser with a removable floor. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things that only FSL does. But these are some things that kind of complement. Uh, those things that the laser do uh, by having assets available for you uh, all the time. Uh, let's go into the first one. So laser 101. I thought we had a... Oh, oh sorry. Um, yeah. Getting started with your laser is okay, the card. So as you get started with your laser, we have a bunch of assets to help you out and really maximize uh, what you're getting out of your laser and what you can do with it. So the first uh, segment we like to talk about, or I guess the first uh, asset we like to talk about is... Certificates. certificates, absolutely. So, uh, only laser company on the market that has a certificate program where you, your employees, your students, your kids can go and not only get certified on the laser system in which they're using, but also get a laser uh, laser safety certification as well. Now, what this does is helps keep everyone safe and in, in knowledge of the use of the machine that gets the most, uh, really, the longest life on your machine. It makes sure your machine works the best as possible. Uh, it just has a bunch of little things to help you understand what's going on inside the laser system without just 
you know, pressing play in Washington Grave. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. What is current then? Um, Understanding. <laughs> okay, so the next one we wanted to talk about is free, free projects. projects. That's right. You might have seen other plastic lasers that offer a catalog of projects and have some weird wording in their terms of service. That anytime you upload a file, it's kind of theirs too. Uh, you can look into that yourself. But with us, we have literally hundreds of free projects that you can take and use as your own. You can take them, turn them into, I don't know, things you can sell online. We've actually seen yeah. people steal our projects and sell the file um, on yeah, other things. Just but today we found Yeah, that. we just saw that. But, uh, so there's many ways to make money off uh, those files. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's doing that well selling those files, though. Yeah. Who, who, who knows? knows? Who knows? She, but she took the actual pictures, too. No. Yeah. Crazy. Breaking my, my heart. Hands, my I know. Hands your hands. <laughs> That's funny. Either way, you can take those <coughs> files and not only learn how to use your laser, but use them as basis to learn how to make products for your laser so you can start making that money back. Now, the biggest reason we went through those ROI investments is obviously you're making more than you've already invested in that first year by just selling those items. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's your thing. Passion. Absolutely. Passion yeah. gets you there. Yeah, so not only uh, free projects and stuff, but there's also a handful of things to help you learn how to use a laser at the Laser 101 projects with beginner, intermediate, and advanced laser lessons will actually take you from the most basic laser project to an advanced one, uh, so you can kind of learn how to use it in a f more fun way than, you know, just kind of reading things and watching videos. Yeah, yeah. Well, right. Watching videos is a huge part. Watching videos is the most important part of lasering. <laughs> okay, uh, next one we have here is the, the, the videos, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So we have the Full Spectrum Laser YouTube page. Um, obviously here on Facebook we have a ton of videos as well. Most of our live videos all uh, play on repeat here uh, throughout the week. Uh, but you can always catch them on replay uh, on YouTube. And then our producer Charles actually takes the segments from the videos and turns them into little clips so that you can get like just the sections you want instead of having to sit through the whole 15 or 20 minutes if every segment wasn't for you or maybe didn't apply to your application. And there's always good ones that aren't on Facebook, right? There's oh, absolutely. There's tons. Uh, there's way more videos on, on YouTube than uh, that are on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook now and you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, go on over there, click a su uh, subscribe, even hit the alert button, because anytime we put up a video, it's typically something that's going to help you out. And uh, being aware of that is always a good thing. Yeah, we just did the uh, tube one, yeah? Absolutely. We just did a day, uh, showed people how to replace their tube, and not only their hobby, but their pro lasers. Yeah, there's a super handsome guy in that video. Check it out. Am I in that video? Oh, someone else. Uh, so, um, the next one we want to talk about is the ebooks. Now, not only do we have the ROI ebook, which we just talked about and we'll be publishing uh, later today for everyone to check out, but we also have a design ebook, which uh, we went through and really took all of our favorite trips, uh, trips, trips, tricks, <laughs> and techniques. Uh, <laughs> I like going to the Grand Canyon. Uh, but, anyways, it takes all our best tips and techniques and shows you the best approach to designing files for your laser cutter. <coughs> now, we haven't said this, but I had a lot of fun making that. Absolutely. I mean, those you actually learned a lot, too. Well, you learn a lot, and too, you understand a bit, uh, maybe some things you overlook as you design for lasers for a long time, like mm -hmm. some things that are uh, maybe something you never forget just because you know it needs to be done. It's something you kind of got to mention to people who are just starting to design for lasers for the first time. It's not the easiest thing in the world to go from a blank computer screen to a you know design of something that will either assemble in 3D or have a dynamic engraving or anything like that. It takes a little yeah. bit of skill, a little bit of practice. I mean, a lot of people, they say, well, how fast was this? It was a huge raster. And I'm like, no, that was a, a vector mark. Yeah. And they're like, what do you mean? Yeah, and that, that's, that's uh, what the design ebook really dives into is sometimes it's, I like the look of a large vector marked item. It actually gives a really cool look, especially on wood. Um, I think especially it looks terrific. Bring it out of focus a bit. Just nice a touch, yeah. Have a little yeah. bit fatter of line. Yeah, it's nice. All right, is that the last one or do we have one more? That's the last one. That was the last one? All right, so those are a handful of the things that just uh, make it easier to use your laser um, as you go in. Uh, as always, go check out the Laser 101. There's a link down below in the, uh, in the what do you call it, comments, the description. Comments. Sorry. Uh, but uh, at least Laser 101, not only is it links to all your manuals, you have the material test file, which is actually included in RE3 now. If you guys haven't noticed, the new load of RE3 in the clip art section, the material test file is already preloaded on the machine, so you can quickly and easily pre-test uh, files right there from your uh, software. But um, all those assets just make it really, really easy to use what's already a pretty advanced laser system. Yeah, we got some hellos from Facebook. Oh, geez, we do have a bunch. Uh, Renee Skoog, 
Go blue, Renee. That's right. Got the Sweet 16 coming up. Got some big games. Had to make sure I showed off the duds mm. for, the, for the boys in blue. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's okay. This kid <laughs> has no idea. He grew up in Las Vegas, and they don't really know what college sports are here. Sorry, Larry Johnson and anyone else who attended UNLV in the 80s. It's my bad. Um, who else we have? Jeff Hayes, as always, thanks so much for watching, sir. Uh, John and Jeanette are checking in as well. Jeanette, hope you're feeling better after your, uh, ooh, go Sparties, Jeanette. I'm so sorry that that came out of your <laughs> mouth. Uh, hi, Walker. Nick, Jim, so good to see you again. Mr. Robinson, uh, anyone else? Uh, for you got uh, Lynn Hayes, too. Oh, Lynn Hayes as well. Jeff and Lynn watching as well. Thanks so much, guys, uh, out there in St. Louis. Anyone else uh, further up, or is that the whole, that's it? Excellent. Well, thanks so much for watching again, guys. Um, uh, just a few things. Uh, this is the last week for this month's uh, weekly contest. Make sure you get your submissions in. Just use the hashtag made with FSL. I think you do this thing right, yeah. the hashtag thing, right? Made with FSL. Um, hashtag made with this FSL. The most fun I had all day just doing this. Yeah. I think that's Jimmy Fallon's thing to do, right? Yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justin Timberlake. Uh, Justin Timberlake, too. Hashtag. Yeah. Uh, or maybe that was like five years ago. Yeah. Right. We're not really up on the times. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, use that hashtag down below. Post your projects, whether it be a simple engraving, a complex thing. We just had someone submit a really cool steampunk uh, clock. Uh, you'll be really I impressed with. It. Yeah, it's really, really neat. Um, actually, reminded me of that uh, first picture you put up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you want a quick way to Walker's vote is uh, steampunky things that look like they might have been built 400 years ago. Yeah. That's like his favorite thing. Work, but yeah, yeah, it can't just look. Yeah, it's got to be working and stuff. That's his favorite. Uh, but anyway, uh, as always, we have the survey down below. Please give a click and link on that if you haven't done it before. We're always looking for suggestions. We just got another great suggestion the other day on an improvement to the software, which is something we hadn't really thought of, but a lot of people are using. So we're actually going to implement on an update. It'll be coming out here soon. Speaking of updates coming out soon, in the next week or so, you'll have another 1.9 RE3 update, which will return the perimeter button to the LCD screen and a few other oh. things just to make workflows a little bit faster. Nice. As always, we're always just making things better. Um, I know some people are a little intimidated by doing an upload or an update, but it's not we're not we're not the type of people that you update and then test. It's like uh, we're updating to make sure that things that happened before don't happen anymore. So as things yeah. come to the surface or as someone pulls in, this is kind of always the way we find when they pull in some huge random file that like causes the software to like I don't, know, I don't know, it's always something bigger than we yeah. thought would be done. You're like, oh, well, I guess we got to count for someone doing a four foot by eight foot thing and, yeah. and piecing it down with a ton of vector marks. I know, in the it. workspace is this and then their files. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, so it's big. Like, it's not working. It's like, yeah, you're, you've created something that's nine feet long. Yeah. Yeah, you have a muse. <laughs> but either way, um, we have corrected even things like that. So uh, that and some fixes for rotary mode as well. So uh, some people have noticed that uh, there's some restriction of space if you have some large rotary objects. We fixed uh, that as well. So keep a look out for the next next uh, week or two. Um, as always, we have the weekly contest, the survey down below. Uh, and as always, we are here every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, what's wrong, Charles? Nothing. Uh, looks no. like we just came up to a. Oh, came back to this. Okay. Uh, but as Marcel saying, uh, thanks for the show, guys. Oh. Marcel, of course. Um, I really appreciate the support, uh, Marsh. That's uh, really cool, man. Uh, thanks Renee so much. Renee is submitting her uh, entry now. Excellent. Everyone should submit. Even if you like, uh, honestly, if you've made anything and you're impressed with it, you should just submit it. Like it looks great. Um, yeah. Inspires some other people. And two, uh, we're always looking for people to feature in that um, in that week. So not only do we announce the winner next week, but we'll also look at like our, our, our right? exactly our, our top five, top ten, depending on how many people we have. And we always go through everyone's things and. Uh, we never critique them in any sort of negative way, but we always go through the ones that made it in the top five or ten and go through and tell you everything we love we about should, it. We should have whomever is in a shout out like five times. Yeah. Should get the prize as well. A shout out five times. We'll, have to, talk we'll have to talk about that off here. We don't give any secrets of how things will go. That sounds cool. It does like sound cool. We'll good we'll enough. Yeah. You know? yeah we'll, we'll, we'll iron we'll that iron out off here. We just want to keep all the secrets. Yeah. It's just an idea that popped in my head. Just to figure out how to share right there. No, that's the best thing to do on live internet television. Yeah, yeah. Is as soon as you think of something, <laughs> just spit it out. That's like don't don't really process it. Don't think, no filter. Just keep on talking. Yeah. Yeah. I woke <laughs> up halfway through this. It did. You? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the cast. Yeah. And uh, with that, uh, we will see you guys next week at four o'clock on Wednesday. As always, uh, next week we have a really cool show. We'll be announcing the contest winner. We have some great apps on your iPhone that you can use. That includes using the portrait mode of your iPhone to do some really cool engravings. We're going to show you how to do that uh, as well as uh, some other really cool smartphone apps that you can use with your laser, which uh, is always a cool thing. And we're actually even going to show you how you can monitor your Muse using uh, your smartphone. It's really cool. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So until next week at 4 p.m. Uh, here on Facebook Live. Keep making profit. Hey, everyone.
thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. And we've got a lot more videos over here. Hey, everybody. You like my video?